business problem naman tayo. So, basahin muna natin yung tanong. Sally has a laundry business. Her assets totaled 700,000 pesos as of this day. Her friend Laura decided to venture with Sally's business, providing she will invest an amount that is 30% of their investments total. How much should Laura invest? So, without using any business concepts, pwede nating masagutan yung tanong just using algebra. So, paano ba? Ano yung hinahanap natin? Laura's investment. So, Laura's investment will be unknown. Meaning, if there is an unknown, you should represent that unknown by a variable. Any letter you want. Gamitan natin yung most common which is X. Tapos, balik tayo sa tanong. Since we invest doon ni Laura ay 30% of their total investment. So, sa tingin nyo, ilan ba yung total investment nila? Given nyo kay Sally. Plus, since X is Laura's investment, so you will add X. Try, try natin i-simplify. ten thousand is the thirty percent of seven hundred thousand plus thirty. This thirty percent is equivalent to point three. Pwede natin gawin itong point three na lang. Yung point three x. Since pares naman sila x, pwede mo silang i-combine. x minus 0.3x is equivalent to 210,000. x minus 3x is 1 minus 0.3. So, 1 minus 0.3 is 0.7x is equal to 210,000. So, your x will be 210,000 over 0.7 which is equivalent to 300,000 yung kanina yung isang approach yun kung paano nyo pwede isolve yung problem ngayon naman meron pa akong isa pang approach kung saan you will arrive at the same answer pero magkaiba lang yung solution so pakita ko kung paano since 700,000 is just the 70% ng total investment ni Laura at ni Sally. So, 700,000. You can equate that to 7 or 0.7. Bakit 0.7? Kasi 70%. Now, in 700,000 plus the investment plus the investment of Laura is equivalent to 100%. So, so, you can write it down as 700,000 plus X over 1. So, tingnan natin. Mag-aaray ba tayo sa pareho answer? Just leave your comments below.